Hey, what's up guys? Bearcat here. Doing another exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews. And today we're taking a look at the Marvel Legends series Marvel Firestar figure. And I gotta say guys, this is an amazing figure. Uh, I'm excited to get this figure to put with... Uh... Well, actually this figure is on loan to me from my... Um... I bought this for my uh, brother. And he's letting me review it because I... Because he wanted me to review it, and because I got it for him, because he already had Spider Man and Iceman, so I got him Firestar because he liked the uh, old amazing Spider Man and his amazing friend show, and so I got him this so he could complete the whole show group. So, as you can see, though, here you have this nice window of Firestar in the packaging with some accessories and Miss Lion on the side. Here, you got a little art image of Firestar on the back, you got the same art image of Firestar and there's a little read up here and if you want to read it you can pause it now and then on the side it's the same art image of Firestar not much else at the bottom and it says Firestar at the top so let's get to it and crack open this figure so here is Firestar out of the packaging and with her accessories and I switched her to the more show accurate head because I personally like the looks of that head sculpt better than the other one but take a look at the figure accessories here you can see she does come with two sets of hands two fisted hands and two open hands uh she does come with the dog miss lion from the show and she also comes with these little flame effects that for these you just wrap them around her wrists like so as you can see it just makes it look like she is shooting fire from her arms so or she's using her fire powers so you can see that and then for the head you just pop it off like most Marvel Legends, once I get this off, you just, for the head swaps, you just pop it off, and then you pop the other one back on, like so. But I'm going to leave on this head because this is the one I prefer to see on Firestar, personally. And I'll show you, but I will show you the other head up close so you can see the mask is different and the hair is in different shades of red. And it's wavy to the side more. Whereas that one's straight down. But anyway, as you can see, if close look here, they make it exactly like the show. So it's just the yellow jumpsuit. You can see that it has the flames around the red boots and gloves. So it's very show accurate. But that's really it for the figure for accessory wise so now we're going to take a look at the articulation so her for articulation she can't really look up but she has a hinge joint and a ball joint so she can look down that far but the hair gets in the way of the up far movement uh her head does rotate 360 though except the collar can get in the way sometimes and so can the hair sometimes as you see it likes to get caught on the collar there uh, her arms move up that far and down, rotate 360, single joint elbow that bends 90 degrees, swivel at the elbow, swivel at the wrists, and the hands move up and down on all of them. Uh, diaphragm joint here, so she can rotate around and she can crunch back that far and forward that much. Uh, she has pretty good spread. Kicks forward that far, double joint knees, ankle moves down and up, and she does have ankle pivot. And also she has a thigh sole. And that's really it for the posability of Firestar. So now we'll get her all set up for her size comparisons. So here is Firestar and Miss Lion. And they are standing. Miss Lion at one and a half inches tall. And Firestar at a little over six inches tall. And for your size comparisons, here they are next to our last figure review. The retro black cat figure so you can see how they scale together here she is next to the retro Iceman figure so you can see how they scale together here she is Next to the retro Spider-Man figure. So you can see how they scale together. And last but not least for your basic 6 inch scale comparison. Here she is next to Studio Series Hot Rod. So 
Toy Fair exclusive deluxe class snake eyes. And Star Wars The Clone Wars Black Series Captain Rex. So you can see how they scale together. And here is Firestar in an action pose, shooting off fire from her hands. And I gotta say, guys, this is an amazing figure. I highly recommend this figure if you are a fan of Firestar or if you are a fan of the Spider Man The Amazing Friends show. Uh, I definitely recommend getting this to put with your Spider-Man and or Iceman because it would look great and it would look like the classic show. Also, another little gimmick I want to show you guys. Uh, inside the Firestar box, part of the background in the box is the classic control room or mission room that they had. So you can actually put that behind her and have her standing in there displayed inside the old dorm room that turned into a control center so you can see how that would work but anyways guys like i said this is an amazing figure i do highly recommend getting this figure if you are a fan of the original amazing spider-man show and i hope you guys enjoy this video i want to thank you guys again for watching this video please leave a like comment subscribe let me know what you think let me know if there's something you want to see reviewed and i'll try and get it in review for you guys and yeah, that's all I can say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys on tomorrow's exciting episode of Bearcat Reviews.